So, common faults from bat fly to straddle bat. Maybe like this one. So, Siobhan, you were telling me as you came over this way, yeah. you fell down onto the base's chest right there. Actually, oh. uh, no, that's when we felt the pain in the hands. Uh -huh. You start feeling the pain right here, you said, as you're coming over? Yeah. No, her legs were in my feet. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know when she started feeling the pain. It was during that motion during that, that we should transition. have done, but we still managed to do it, but from here but is from where here, I fell. You fell down? Yes. Well, because you he he said his feet slipped out from here? Yeah. Yeah, so I think a common mistake that happens is sometimes the flyer will forget to pike enough and the feet will slip off there. Um, so you really have to pike super deep to crank that I was that actually watching feet. her when she did it. Yes. And what happened was her legs rolled out of my feet going forward. This way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I piked more. I realized yeah. I wasn't piking enough and I piked so more. You piked more and he... That's when I fell. Flat out that way. Yeah. So perhaps the toes weren't deep in enough. You want to get really in as far forward as you possible. So once you pike, you still have feet there, right? Yeah, that actually feels really easy to get the feet there. Yeah, so that's something to keep in mind. Keep the feet way forward. The more forward and into the hip that you can keep it, the safer and more comfortable it will be. Those turning in. So be mindful of not being too far you're back. Using this way. the shoulders. You didn't yes. Use the shoulders. Yes, I use the shoulders to transfer over. So that's one way to do it. So let's demonstrate that way first, and then uh, we'll demo from using the hand. Okay. Let's get you forward. Okay, so when you use the hands, I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on the flyer to push back. If you as the base can support her weight, this may give you more control depending on your flyer. If you have a flyer that's super strong and knows how to push off, the hands I think will give you more stability. But try this one first, see how this goes for you. You're going to put the hands on her shoulders, slowly walk feet towards the hips, and keep sliding up, scooting them in. In, turn inside and keep them as close to the hips as possible while you're pushing. When you push off the shoulders there, you make it lighter for your feet to, to push off. So you can even take a foot off and play with that distribution of weight. But the point is to push a little bit off the shoulders so you take some of the weight off the, uh -huh. the hips there so they can move your feet. Move them way forward, toes in. Try not, um, you underestimate oftentimes as a new base, how deep you need to go, because if you go too shallow, yes, she can roll off of your feet. So you want to go really deep in, like that. Toes in, and once she feels stable, you let go. Find 90 degrees, have her straddle pike. Yeah, the shoulders look really solid. So we'll come back out. Let's try with the hands here. Is how you come out of it? That's Quickly. one way to come out of it. I, I'm trying we to had no out idea how to get out of it, too. Doing, that looks awesome. Okay, I can show you that, too. So let's go back to the back fly to straddle, okay? I like how you support my ankles there, Siobhan. It makes it really slow for you, and it helps support you. Very good. When you feel safe, you can let go. With the hands, this is what I would do with the hands. Try not to do this. This, when you're coming over and start any type of hand-to-hand -hand connection, you're using most of your... Um, most of the stress will be put on this little small muscle there on your shoulder, at the deltoid right there. It, it allows That's you to use a little bit sore. of your bicep, but you're using most yeah. of that. Now if you bring your elbows in, so you're starting here, bring your elbows in this way, you're creating a nice frame here. This looks like a square. Now you're lining your deltoid with your bicep, with your forearm, now you can push it. You have a lot more strength to push through this way. And plus your motion is coming over this way, so a lot of weight's gonna go down this way. So that's why you gotta keep those elbows in and the wrists will stack, the muscles will stack better. And so when you start bringing your weight over this way and your toes come forward, you have a lot more strength in your arms to support yourself versus that, which will feel weird on the shoulders, I think. Maybe on the hand, something that you might have felt last time you did that. The square is helpful because I kept saying, no, it in, there's something about in, uh -huh. Maybe but in. I couldn't. I couldn't yeah. show it and then the square helps. Yeah, so JC, you can, as the base, you can push in from here versus that. Okay, so try that. Try that differently. Oh, again, well, I am noticing yes. here. Again, when you're pressing, when you press into me, it helps me walk my feet over. Keep them in. There you go. 
once you're safe and let go. Nice straddle pike. Remember, if there's a fall down, you fall down your head, tuck that chin in. Tuck that chin down so if you fall, you're going to land. On the back. More on the back. And the base, always try to protect your face if they're falling towards you. But your job is if you keep pressing on the shoulders, her head can't hit you on the face. you got to keep pressing. She tucks the chin down. Let's demonstrate that one more time. Both ways, okay? Here. Shoulders, walking over, straddle back, up, good, again, I'll teach you that next, kind of exit, in, up, I go ahead and adjust my feet out this way, hands, elbows in, good, walk, 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 and then pike them out, good, I like what you did there. You kept them tucked in, because the moment you straddle pike this way, a lot of weight pours this way. That's why this is safe, because you have that shelf coming down, but also that creates a, a lot of weight coming over this way. So what you did there was, when you bent your knees in first, and waited for me to get you in position, then kicked out, that will help a lot with the weight. It will ease off a lot of the weight over coming this way. Okay. All right. Anything I could clarify before we start? Nope. Let's get started.